A homosexual act uh, illegal in Cameroon and can carry a prison term of up to five years. Activists say the country has perhaps one of the highest numbers of people in prison for being gay or even on suspicion of being gay. Now, because of the alienation and personal risk that comes with uh, representing the LGBT persons, very few lawyers are willing to defend them. Michelle Togge is one of the few lawyers who have decided to defend LGBT rights uh, despite receiving death threats. Mr. Togu, uh, welcome to Africa 54. Now, uh, there was a report I saw which said that uh, perhaps Cameroon has one of the highest uh, number of people who have been imprisoned just for being homosexual or suspected to be the one. How accurate is that? The highest? Yes. One of the highest in Africa? Yes, one of the highest in Africa because, um, as you can imagine, Cameroon, is, uh, Cameroon has uh, as neighbors who share the, ne the same neighborhood with uh, Gabon and mm. uh, uh, Chad. Yeah. But homosexual are not, uh, is, homosexuality is not an offense in those countries. So in Cameroon, he has become... Uh, uh, famous, Camus has become very famous for his uh, uh, punishing homosexuality. Now, what prompted you to take up these cases? You know, many people shy away from this. What made you feel like you need to take up the cases, risk your own life, and defend? Uh, you know, it's just, uh, I, I will not say that because I'm open minded, because sure, I'm, I'm open minded, and I understand that uh, it is a uh, human right. So, Many people don't, uh, don't see in homosexual rights, LGBT rights, human rights. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, it's like someone, anyway, those people are discriminalized in, in Cameroon, and I feel as a duty to defend them, to represent them in court. Mm -hmm. you see? Now, under the law of uh, Cameroon, uh, what, what, what can you do? How can you defend? if the law states that this is a crime, uh, beyond having that law changed? How can you defend that? Yes, that's a very important question because in Cameroon, the section 347 B in our penal code says, uh, you're going to punish if you have been caught in act. But more people in Cameroon are in prison, meanwhile they have not been caught in act. So what we are doing is to show how uh, the law is not really implemented as he, he has to be. So that is our duty, is to show that people are suspected of being homosexual, people are in prison because they are homosexuality, meanwhile they have not proved that they have been caught in act having sexual intercourse with uh, the same gender. Now people like you have been threatened, uh, you Personally, I've had to relocate your family to the United States. Sure, now, sure. who threatens you? Is it government uh, uh, officials or is this from private uh, individuals who don't like what you do? You know, Vincent, this is a very difficult question for me to answer because, uh, I, I, as you can imagine, I complained to the police. Mm -hmm. But since, since uh, two years today, there's no person who found as the one who was sending me uh, death threats. So what I'm thinking is that the government has his part of this uh, threat because if the law, if there was not law punishing homosexuality, the other people would not have taken advantage to threat those who are suspected of very being quickly, homosexual. Very is this a new law or this law has been there? No, this is a very, very old law. Okay. Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. it exists in 1972. Mm -hmm. yeah. So unless repealed, mm -hmm. the situation will continue being the same. But I hope you stay safe. Okay. Uh, Mr. Togo, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Well, Michelle Togo is a Cameroonian LGBT rights lawyer.